Well, it appears that Democrats are relieved and hope to look to the future following U.S. President Joe Biden's abrupt de de departure, that is, from his reelection campaign. They're calling his decision of appending his bid as inevitable. Nearly two thirds of Democrats believe that Biden must be ousted due to his declining cognitive health. After weeks of uncertainty, he finally stepped aside and has endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris for the Democratic Party's ticket in November. As the day progressed on Sunday, many lawmakers put their support behind Harris to run as the party nominee and face off against Donald Trump. Leading Democrat donors and grassroots supporters swung behind Harris and donated an estimated $50 million through Act Blue. Win with Black women raised $1.5 million within 100 minutes. This was the biggest single haul after Joe Biden quit the race. Many believe that the Democrat frontrunner has a good chance of turning the tide against former President Donald Trump. And so about 100 lawmakers, including those pressuring Biden to quit, members of Congress, governors, labor leaders now stand behind Harris. Biden won about 95 percent of all delegates to the August 19th to 22nd Democratic Convention during the presidential primaries. These delegates are likely to support Harris after Biden's endorsement. Biden himself endorsed Harris in a letter announcing that he's quitting the race. This was immediately followed by public support for the U.S. vice president from the key campaign donors, the Congressional Back Caucus and various lawmakers. And super PACs such as Priorities USA and Unite the Country. Harris has also won the backing of California Governor Gavin Newsom, Colorado Governor Jared Polis, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, among others. In many key swing states like Wisconsin, Arizona, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Nevada, many express optimism about Harris being the party's next nominee. Are there any senators in the chamber who wish to vote or change a vote? If not on this vote, the yeas are 50 and the nays are 50. The Senate being equally... I think it, it's scary as someone who does not want Trump to be the president. Um, just like throwing that uncertainty into the mix makes me feel a little nervous, makes me feel nervous. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm interested to see where they, where the Democratic Party goes next. While the list of lawmakers in the Democratic Party backing Harris keeps growing, the former U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and former President Barack Obama have asked for an open convention. Biden served in Obama's administration as his vice president for eight years. The former U.S. president hasn't endorsed Harris, but said that the Democrats will choose another unnamed, quote unquote, outstanding nominee in place of Biden. In a statement, Obama said, quote, we will be navigating uncharted waters in the days ahead, but I have extraordinary confidence that the leaders of our party will be able to create a process from which an outstanding nominee emerges. Obama remains one of the most respected leaders among the Democrats. His reluctance to endorse Harris risks damaging her candidacy and derailing the consensus during the August National Convention. Obama was quickly joined by former Speaker Pelosi, insisting she's in favor of an open process to select the Democratic nominee. In fact, it's being reported that Biden had to quit the race after Obama, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and former House Speaker Pelosi expressed concern about his dismal debate performance behind closed doors. Congressional sources are giving the former U.S. House Speaker Pelosi much credit in nudging the sitting U.S. president towards the exit door. For all the latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.